Hi guys, I've got another quite unusual one in for uh, full ceramics today. Um, so let me flip the camera around and show you around her. So today we've got this, a BMW i8 in this stunning orange paint. Um, from what I can gather, this was a BMW press car, so it's um, it's been painted this one off colour. So I think it's the only one in the world this colour. Um, from what I can gather, it's lived quite a hard life. Um, booked in for full correction and four year zirconite coatings. The odd extra little bit as well. Um, for instance, we're going to take off this e-drive badge because all the paint's come out of it uh, so instead of touching it in we're just going to take it off and polish this black plastic panel back up we're going to leave the i8 badge um this aircon obviously you can hear me um so yeah this is um the next couple of days job we've got chips away coming to do a few little bits that the customer's booked in there's a few bits of lack appeal and um, stone chips that need doing. Um, and then inside, we're just going to do a full interior valet. Doesn't need a lot. Um, but yeah, just an interior valet. And um, I'm not even sure how you move the seats forward. This, I'm going to put some leather coating on here just because the customer slides in. As you can see, this fills quite a large, so um, you slide down the seat. Um, it also looks like the dash gets kicked quite a bit, so I'm gonna put some on there as well. Um, just to give it that extra bit of protection. But yeah, it's uh, quite a nice machine, all this roll carbon fibre. He believes the roof's painted, but in some lights, I don't know if you can actually see it. It's around the other side. I think the roof is actually lacquered carbon. There you go, you can just see the uh, the diamonds in there. So I think if we polish that up, we should be able to see a bit more of these diamonds in there. Um, but yeah, it's going to be quite a nice one to do. Get it back to how it should look. The customer's only had it a few days. Um, and now... I've got it for a little while. But, um, I'll show you some more as I get going. See you in a bit. Hi guys. So I started doing the paint correction on the i8. I managed to get this wing done. Down to the back bumper, this wing, it's all attached. Um, in here, I don't know if you can tell, but there's the camera's gonna pick it up. This is quite dull. Whereas this is now really glossy. It's a bit of a hard one to pick up on camera. Um, it's a, it looks a completely deeper orange on there. The other thing I have done is I have tackled the roof, which is actually, if you can get close enough, exposed carbon fiber. If it will, if it will focus. Which it won't. Oh, there we go. You can just see the diamonds in the carbon fiber. I think it'd be better once it's outside in the light. Um, so yeah, that was like really flat grey. It's now um, glossy and showing the carbon fiber back up. So that's a bonus. I don't think the customer knew it was actually carbon fiber. He just thought it was sprayed grey. Um, so yeah, this. I'm gonna go onto this door next. Just get it all to match up. I've done in the door handle. There's a few scratches around here that I may come back and wet sand. In here, I'm going to have to polish by hand just because, as you can see, the machine won't fit in there. Um, but yeah, it's getting there. It's a nice colour to work with. Um, just a lot of paint. So, and it's about 38 degrees in the unit. So, um, yeah, it's a bit warm. But um, I'll crack on and show you some more.
later on. So guys, done a bit more. I've got all this polished up now. I had to stop polishing yesterday because it got a bit warm in the studio. But yeah, getting there. Excuse all the dust, it's the uh, compound I'm using. So the next task is doing the bonnet. The bonnets on these don't open. They only open. Only BMW are meant to be able to open them. Um, but somehow I've got to polish all this fading from in there. So I'm going to do, I'll do a 50 for 50 so you can uh, see it. But I'll do that first and then uh, I'll do the rest of the bonnet. I'll probably tape this off then once I've done it. I'll tape this off so we don't get mark all this uh, plastic. But yeah, let's try and do that. I'll show you a bit more in a bit. There we go. 50-50 on that panel. So a massive difference. Uh, still need to refine it. But um, yeah, that's a huge difference. Back to gloss back again. Right, let's do the other side. So guys, there's the finished product. Um, single stage in places. We've had two stage and wet flattening in places as well. Um, and it's got four year zirconite ceramic coating on it. Wheels are coated with zirconite ZQ5, which is a um, 12 month coating for wheels. It's dedicated for wheels as well, so it can cope with the heat. But uh, I'm extremely impressed with how it's come out, considering the state it was in. But uh, yeah, I've just got the inside to do. But, um, what colour? So yeah, I'll uh, I'll do a montage of the exterior now and enjoy.